We have too many other things that need to be fixing to be worried about that. Me and Matt Lee and our beautiful Barbados have a whole heap of money and it's, it's few of them and way more than us and our dynamics is different. How we are situated from time immemorial. I mean, if you look at our, if you look at the history of slavery, you understand the importance of, of, of um, Jamaica to the slave trade and you understand the importance of Haiti to the slave trade in terms of how the separation and the, and the ill treatment of, 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 of the Afro um, citizens of the Caribbean um, were kept in place and separation of families. We, we just get up and just, and just play an animal farm and I'm just not a part of that. As I said, this Rasta man him do mix up in a bangarang. But I don't go down on the road with stu stu stupidity, and I'm never, ever, ever giving credence to the, 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 the dilemma of the political dunce, but I'm not doing it. That is all. And I'm saying it's, it's to, to each his own, because you have persons who are not criminal law attorneys who, who, who want to go away from the Privy Council because it's, it's, it's more convenient for them and their high-powered clients. When the little poor man, if he's going to get any redress when, 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 when our court misses something, it may very well be that that's where it's supposed to be. It's, it's a little bit more um, nuanced and, a, a, and much more important for persons to sit and have those conversations before we just get up and, and rush. And, and, and rush. We, we like to rush things. And we know justice rush is justice crushed. So, we're not so, my friend and brother, you're saying, keep the Privy Council, but focus on the other issues in Jamaica. Yeah. Mm. So, basically, I'm measuring the minor. Well, man, here's the conversation that we must have. Can we get to a place, and this is for both governments, where as a citizen of this Jamaica, of, of this beautiful island of Jamaica, which is very rich, very, very, very rich, believe me when I tell you, rich, 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 it's Sibolius, rich, 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 royalty. From, from 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 just born and being a Jamaican, the government's supposed to just give forty thousand dollars a week for your survival. So you can find your way and find yourself because you're so extraordinary. You're what you call a superstar. My papa say every nigga is a star, yeah. That that is it. We, so so until we are able to provide basic um living existence for people. We, we, we were we majoring in the minor. So when you're having conversations, and I'm not talking about minimum wage, I'm talking about thank you for being born, son of Jamaica, daughter of Jamaica. You should get $40,000 a week. So when the woman have nine pick me and all of them, and she'll collect the check for $40,000, we'll be living in a different place. Can I say something to you, my brother? Sure. Earlier this week, some people reached out to me because I, I don't really know how much the people get on the PATH program, right? But yeah. It's every two months they get money from the government. Right. So that would be six times for the year they get a money from the government. Right. Am I correct? Something like that, yes. So people have been reaching out to me to say that their PATH benefits have lowered. So I thought it was genuinely uh, people being mischievous. Mm -hmm. But I got the evidence to. Producer, can you put up the path benefit? So true, true, yeah. Because you talk about people must get 40,000 each. Look there. Mm -hmm. Look there. You see February 15th, right, Isaac? Mm -hmm. The person got 5,000. 600 from Christiana High School mm. and 4,800 from the Alphonsus Davis High School, right? Mm -hmm. Look at April 15th. The only thing the person got was $1,900. Yeah, but is that, is that, that's not a path. That's, that's, the, that's not a path. Is that path? Yes, this is path, I said. This is the kind of money the people receiving in this country. See, every two 
months. Every two months, see there. 5,600 and 4,800 in February. And in the month of April, them get 1,900. Not really bad, man. Mm. Not really bad, man. I can tell you that fancy, that fancy, um, that fancy printout costs more than the, 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 the money with the fund, um, the fund paper. But you said the country is rich and we have the resources. Mm -hmm. And then to see that that is the kind of funds right, people mm -hmm. are getting in the country for past benefit. Right. $1,900 yeah. every two months. Yes. $1,900, Isaac. Yes. And I'm, that's the point I'm saying, and I'm here advocating for $40,000 a week. Whether you, whether, whether, you, whether you need a path or you need a highway, just for, just for waking up. So that should be our ambitions, not 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 all of these things, not not this fake thing about how but the place looks nice. Where would we find the four thousand to give the people? Ask Portia, then find money. When she was the prime minister, she didn't know for find money. <laughs> she never did a thief it. Mm -mm. <laughs> I got I'm not here tonight. No, I'm just saying you ask. Don't, don't ask me. I'm not in government. I hold no post in government. Neither opposition nor nowhere. So I'm just making that clear. So I'm saying when when we see see, see Hakeem say my nephew in Ford Farm used to get four thousand dollar, four thousand five hundred. It co yeah, so, so it was there. Right? Yeah, from the New Year start, he is getting one thousand nine hundred. Yeah. So everybody excited. Yeah, don't worry, J U T C in our race. We'll keep the bus and new buses come out with it. Every every coming like Pinocchio. And and, and 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 anyway, let me leave that alone. <laughs> so we are called Pinocchio, Andrew Wallace. Me just I say. I'm not calling anybody any names, only chucking or lucky. <laughs> 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 There has been a transitional council mm -hmm. that has developed in Haiti from yesterday to today. What is your take on the transitional council in Haiti? Mm -hmm. Do you believe that it will further delay the crisis in Haiti and we will see the country improving in terms of political stability um let me tell you something like i said there is a historical context which has to be um addressed where haiti is concerned um i am not one keen i'm not over there um i think i've heard the former prime minister pj patterson speak about um you know, if the word is peace talks, um, have an understanding of the persons who we are alleging to um, be having the generals, the persons who overthrow or destabilize. Mm -hmm. Whether we need, whether there needs to be conversations with them in in terms of um, fight, they, ensuring that there is stability within the country. I just, I, I, I can't, I can't give something concrete because I don't know if I'm to, to listen to international media, state media, or, or and I'm not on the ground, so I, I don't know. We, we, I, I, I also don't know what's the difference between um, what's happening in Haiti and what's happening in Jamaica in terms of how the government um, breaches constitutional rights of the people and whether we need international in intervention for everything. So I don't know. It's difficult for me to actually respond to that, save and, save and to say that um, I've seen the African nations speaking up about removing their central bank from France and stuff like that. And I recall that Haiti, when they got their freedom, they're the first black pe African, people of African descent. Yeah, 
of Africa. Afri yeah, that, that, that had to purchase their freedom and we're in 2024 where where other Caribbean islands are saying we want reparations, Mia Motley saying pay us, but Haiti is still paying France for the freedom and, and, and the black people, black, black, the Haitians themselves um, does, don't appreciate the historical culture. I don't see the United Nations saying, but there's a lot of wrongs that had happened through slavery that we need to correct, including probably giving the aid to Haiti in a way that can make them actually independent, erasing debts where necessary. I mean, even in the Jamaican sense, our, 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 the British pound is what, $200 on a good day? Um, mm -hmm. Instead of giving us reparations, why the United States and Haiti don't just get up uh, like Thanos and just make the dollar stabilize and make the dollar strong like everybody else and we just have a reset. Don't pay us reparations, just erase the debt and just reset. I don't see those things happening. So maybe maybe it's one of those things where people like Tammy on here is going to say that my chat too much and these things. But we need to look at it from a different angle. And they are our brothers and sisters. They are um, Caribbeans. We, 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 we are related some way, somehow yeah. through ancestors. And we need to have a little bit more compassion for them. Um, I know there is people from Jamaican so Justice that's advocating a lot to ensure that some of them find their way to citizenship in Jamaica to make a better life for themselves. So as neighboring, we need to strengthen CARICOM relations. Yes. And we, we need to start looking at the Caribbean as we are one. And so because Haiti have a problem, um, maybe in hindsight, maybe the Prime Minister have it right and he has to intervene because they are our neighbors so we need to have a better conversation that even though you know each one teach one help one if you can and i i can't speak any further on it but to say that haiti has a problem you know today day 26 mm. of april in 1994 there was an election in April 26 and Dr. Peter Phillips was member of parliament 30 years after Jamaica Dr. Peter Phillips is celebrating 30 years in representational politics many would argue that this man is a man of substance mm. this man has done a lot in terms of improving the social capital for this country remember he served as minister of transport mm -hmm. and during his time as minister of transport the JUTC was converted remember he was minister of health mm -hmm. he was also minister of national security remember at that time when he was minister of national security jamaica mm -hmm. he birthed operation kingfish remember operation kingfish and then remember when the jamaica labor party was not had failed i believe 16 consecutive tests of the imf dr peter phillips was the one who came in and we structured the IMF program and put back Jamaica on a pathway where in which we were able to be physically physically prudent and be back. So all the gains that Nigel Clark is talking about now were the gains of Dr. Peter Phillips. He never got a chance to be Prime Minister of Jamaica. But we can't say heal the man. Do you have any words for him tonight, I said? Yeah, um, it was not a wasted 30 years. Um, Dr. Peter Phillips um, was was very instrumental to ensure that we never do what we never uh, eat out a garbage pan. Um, for those of us who are not from Upper St. Andrew and upper Saint, the upper echelons of society, um, so we, 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 we take it lightly that um, 
he has the certainly in the capacity of the finance minister that he we dodged a comet. We we, we, we dodged a bullet and um, the Labour Party for the most part had reaped the benefits of that. Where we where where we are now is <laughs>